Welcome to my first vegetable garden. This is my second video for 2015, although it's not quite January yet. And what I'm doing is I'm shooting a whole series of videos that will catalog the entire 2015 season. So today I want to talk about lighting. If you're starting seeds indoors, what does uh, lumens mean? What does Kelvin mean? Those are two essential measures that really make a difference in seed starting. My previous video talked about a seed starting mix and trays. So the next step is lighting. This is one kind of lighting you can use uh, to start seeds. And I'll talk about this fixture and this type of bulb. My next video will be about fluorescent bulbs and fluorescent fixtures. But the first thing, most important, is you have to understand what kind of bulbs you're buying. You want to look for a rating, and I'll show you the packaging in a second and where to find a rating. But you want to look for lumens. That's the total amount of visible light. That's really the brightness and intensity. If you're starting seeds indoors, you need bright light, you need intense light, or your germinating seeds are going to grow really fast and stretch out as they reach for light. And what happens is you get a leggy, thin, wiry type plant, and that's not really a healthy plant. You don't want your, your plants to do that. They're going to make poor transplants. So you want a lumen value of 2,000 to 3,000. That's an intense, bright light, and that will help your plants, when they germinate, grow strong, stocky, thick stems, you know, good leaves and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have that plant, you know, sometimes you may have already seen this, where your tomatoes germinate and then they get really tall and they start falling over. That's called legginess. And that can be stopped by having bright, intense light when you start your seeds. And again, you want 2,000 to 3,000 for the lumen number. The other number that you want is the Kelvin number. The Kelvin number is the type of light produced. And it can get a little bit confusing, so I made a little grid here. On the far end of the scale, you have 2,000 Kelvin. On the high end, you have 6,500 Kelvin. And I'm going to go over each of these bulb types and explain both those things to you. Some bulbs will say warm light, cool light, natural light. Sometimes they say soft light, daylight. Soft light, warm light over on this end is too low for seed starting. So you don't want your bulbs to say soft light or warm light. You want something over here as you approach 6500 Kelvin. That's the cool natural daylight. So this is what you're looking for on the packaging. A number that's going to be between 4100K and 6500K. You really want to get as close to 6500K as you can and that's more like what daylight is like. So this is the type of light produced and lumens is the brightness or the intensity. A couple of things and I'll say this over and over again. You want your lights on your germinating seeds for 14 to 60 hours, or your transplants, but you want the lights on 14 to 16 hours, you want the lights off 8 to 10 hours, and you want the bulbs to be 2 or 3 inches above the plant or above the soil if you're waiting for them to germinate. And I do recommend you buy a timer. It's a lifesaver. You, you will end up forgetting sometimes to shut your lights off or to turn your lights on. If you have a timer, you just set it for 16 hours on, eight hours off and then you can walk away and just keep an eye on your plants for watering and that kind of stuff. All right, so we're talking about this type of bulb. It just screws into this fixture. You can find these fixtures at Home Depot, Lowe's, really any kind of place. And it's a clamp. So it can clamp onto anything you have and you just set it up just about like this where if these were your starting tomato seeds, the bulb will just sit over just like this. That's all you have to do and it will come on and off 16 hours of light, 8 hours off. Now, inside of here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says, let's see where, for use of 150 watt or lower. So this fixture can hold a bulb that is 150 watts or less. So you always want to make sure that the fixture has a number that's higher than the wattage on your bulb. So this fixture is rated for 150 watts and this bulb I think is like a 23 watt bulb. So that's perfectly fine. You always just want to make sure the fixture has a higher wattage rating than what your bulb is and you're fine. Let me move this out of the way. Now there's a couple kinds of bulbs. When, well, there's a lot of kind actually when you go in there. First thing is you'll find this bulb. It's 9 watts. Like I said, that 
uh, fixture was rated for 150 watts, so a 9 watt bulb is perfectly fine to be in there. But it has 550 lumens. That's a bad number. It's not between the 2,000 or 3,000. And in fact, they don't even have Kelvin written on here, so I don't know what the intensity is. So when you go to the store and you see soft white bulbs, you don't want to buy those for your seed starting. They're just going to have a light intensity, a brightness that's too low, and the Kelvin number is just not right. And I don't know, yeah, it was hard to find. So. I'll show you another package where this stuff is really easy to find. But 550 lumens, the Kelvin's not even on there. Soft white, you don't want to buy these. So then you might think, well, let me get a bigger size bulb. Here's a bigger bulb. This is a 15 watt bulb, 650 lumens, uh, 2700 Kelvin. At least the numbers are on there. But it's not between 2000 and 3000 lumens. It's not between 4100 and 6500 Kelvin. So even though these bulbs are bigger, they're just not going to be effective for seed starting. So you don't want those. And on the back of the packaging, you can find right here, I don't know, let's see if I can bring it closer. You can see warm 2700 Kelvin, that's where it marks up all the way up to the cool rating. And the brightness is right there, it tells you 6500 lumens. So you can find lumens and Kelvin right on a lot of the packaging. And again, this one is not effective. So now we get up to the 23 watt bulb and that says 100 watt equivalent. The equivalent is really based on what the old incandescent lights were. So when you're looking at the fixture, you're not looking for the equivalent wattage. You're looking for what it actually says and it'll say right on the package, 23 watts. So again, 23 watts is less than 150 wattage on that fixture, so these bulbs are perfectly fine. This has a 1600 lumen rating, which is fair. It's not quite to the 2000, 3000 range, but it has a great Kelvin number, 5000, and this is very workable. And I actually use these bulbs for a grow light closet, or I mean a grow light box that I built, and I'll put a link onto this video if you want to see how to build it. And this is very workable. This works out very nicely, even though it's not the Kelvin number, or I'm sorry, the lumen number that I want between two and three thousand. And the way that you fix that is for, let me just use this. And this is about the number of seed cells that are really managed well by this fixture. So, even though, what it's stuck. Oh, technical difficulty. So even though the lumens on here is 1600. By just having it down lower with this reflective dome, you can even put foil around this. That will increase the intensity a bit and it will cover your seed starts. And it would just sit like this. And that's enough really for 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. You can even put another row right here. And all you would do is just rotate them. You just, you know, turn your tray around, move it around a little bit, and you just do that each day and that will get enough light covering the whole surface so that you get great germination and you get great seed starts. So if the lumens are a little bit lower than you want, you can fix that by just moving the bulbs a little bit closer. And the great thing about this type of bulb is people do worry sometimes. It's not like the old incandescent bulbs where they heat up a whole lot and if you put them an inch or two from your plants, they're going to burn them, they're going to dry them out and you know really wreck them. These don't get hot. It's only 23 watts of power going through here. So these don't overheat um, and they won't damage your plants. So you can get them really, really close. This is what I bought um, yesterday. And these are again 23 watt bulbs, a little bit less in lumens. Uh, 1550 lumens, 5000 Kelvin. This is going to work, but these were four bulbs for $15.97, so they're pretty easy to get. If you can find bulbs that get to 2,000 to 3,000 lumens, that would be great, but this is the best that I've been able to find to work with this type of grow light fixture. And again, all we, you do is set this up, it's going to clamp over and sit like that, and when you turn it on, you get this intensity, right over your germinating seeds and that's all you really have to do. And you could just move this around one day like that, another day, move it over just a little bit more. And that's going to work perfectly fine. Hope you enjoyed the video and please check out my blog at 
therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. And again, I will be doing a whole series on this channel if you want to subscribe to every step of the way in my gardening practice through the 2015 season. So you should really get to see um, something about everything I do and hopefully that helps you with your garden. Thanks.